some tools don't actually require a menu item. They could just be served with a shortcut key. It's a fact of life. And yet, I often see developers creating menu items just to enable the use of their shortcut. And I think I know why. If you look at the documentation for menu item, it highlights shortcuts. And in the example, they even have written, add a menu item named do something with a shortcut key. Now, why on earth would you want to populate your menus with items that don't even need to be there and only exist for their shortcut? Well, there is a better way. And to be honest, they should probably link this in the menu item API in a section called, however, did you know you could do this? So if you haven't met it yet, let me welcome you to the shortcut attribute. Take this example here, where we have a polluting menu item, which spins our character in the scene view 180. It doesn't need to be a menu item. We could just use a shortcut. Anyway, let's get to changing the code. We'll get rid of the menu item attribute and we'll swap in the shortcut attribute. Next, we need to put in a shortcut ID. We can actually use the path from the menu item here and we just need to make sure we don't use it elsewhere. The next thing we do is we put in the key code we're interested in. And I'm gonna put in B because that's available at the moment with my setup. If you want to, you can even add a modifier on the end, but right now we're just gonna get rid of that. We're just gonna leave it as the key code B. Once we're back in Unity, we can see that we just now have the shortcut and we don't need to have that polluted menu item. Now, if that's not worth a like, I don't know what is.